Hi, this is David Wellman, and today we're going to talk about the major pentatonic scale. Pentatonic five note scale, it's major because it has a major third. It's the third of the scale or the chord that determines the nature of the scale or the chord. I'll write down all the notes found in the major pentatonic scale on a big fretboard. We'll have a lot of notes. As a matter of fact, I'll have so many notes that it's going to be almost impossible to memorize. And it's going to be a waste of time because there's a technique that you can use for that. See that big fretboard, we're going to split it into smaller sections, positions. That first position was quite convenient because it started with the root on the sixth string, which in this case is A. We've got the first position and we're going to surround it by using position two, which is just on the right side of the first position, and position five. We're going to start on the sixth string, frets seven, nine, Moving on to the next string, 7-9. Next string, 7-9 again. Third string, frets 6-9. Remember, it's not the note you're starting from that determines the scale. It's the backing track you're playing over. We're in A major pentatonic. We're going to use a major backing track in the key of A. And for the following exercise, we're simply going to ascend, descend the first position moving on to the second position, ascend, descend, and so forth, all over the fretboard. Soon enough, your fingers are going to associate sounds with movements and be able to go to the corresponding fret right away. Always work with backing tracks, and when you're done with that, I strongly suggest that you develop that over different keys. It's very important to be aware of where the root is in your scale. The root is going to be your reference point, your visual point. Listen to the backing track and try to sing the scale and then play it. Be creative, have fun, practice well. I'll see you next time.